coming first to the arena, please welcome Rafael Munoz! Rafael Munoz making his way very colorfully to the ring. <laughs> Oh, wow. That's worth the price of admission right there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but you got to be that You got to be that loose. You got to be that happy, be, right, Leroy? Yeah, absolutely. You got to be ready for this. He's ready for it, looks like. I mean, as a coach, I think if you saw your fighter like that, you'd feel good that, you know. Absolutely. He's relaxed. He's ready to fight. He's ready to get on. He knows what time it is. Yeah, this guy's all about fun, guys. Clearly. <laughs> I gotta love that Tejano music. That's my Lesson people. Number one, never trust the information that is written I worked down at a Tejano bar for years. <laughs> Perils of live entertainment, but the dance was worth it. Coming next to the arena, please welcome Juan Torres. Juan Torres making his way to the ring right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Wow, look at the pageantry. You got to wow. love the pageantry of wow. boxing. Absolutely. He's got, he got a whole Santa hat on. He's got the robe. He's got Santa. He's does, got the belt. He, does he's he looking a festive. <laughs> does he have a gift? Yeah. Oh, he's got a couple belts. Look, one, two, three. Right. Okay. Okay. Guys, if you're just joining us on clearlifemedia.com, make sure you tell a friend, send the link out. Spend the rest of your Friday night with us. We sure appreciate you joining us. Paradigm Combat Sports 2, our second event here. Boxing and MMA, we're about to commence with the next boxing match. And based on both intros, this is gonna be fun. Ladies and gentlemen, this quite clearly boxing contest is brought to you by flagship sponsor Supreme Dump Trucks and Trailers, providing Houston's construction industry with material transportation services. Scheduled for four rounds of action in the heavyweight division, sanctioned by the Texas Combative Sports Commission, judges at ringside Michelle Morales, Kelly Isaac, and Randy Russell, referee in charge of the action here in the ring, Joe Rodriguez. Introducing first, Fighting out of the red corner to my left, he has a professional record of one victory, five defeats. Weighing in yesterday at 202.4 pounds. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, please welcome Rafael Munoz. And his opponent across the ring. Fighting out of the blue corner to my right, he has a professional record of eight victories, five defeats, and one draw. Weighing in yesterday at 245.6 pounds. Also representing Houston, Texas, please welcome Juan Torres. Happy. You know, you know what's interesting? You see how serious one fighter is and how loose and just jovial the other one is. Yeah, Munoz may feel like he's got nothing to lose. You know, he, he's clearly over, uh, oversized here. Uh, apparently, he had to wear all of his clothes just to get on the scale and make weight. Oh, really? And that usually yeah. makes for a good fight, actually. Yeah, yeah, right. oh, for usually sure. Makes for a good fight. Oh, usually. You hear it in the crowd, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Touch of the gloves and... Well, you know, one, one thing I always try to tell my fighters is the more relaxed you are, you know, the more, you know, you, you can really get into the rhythm of the fight. You know, kind of reminds me of that, uh, that drunken style boxer from back in the day, you know, the guy would come in and I saw that start dancing. And, you know, he has wins against some pretty legit guys. Oh. So. That winging shot right there, Mike, Mike. Yeah. He got the earmuffs on now. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I think Torres. Uh, I think Torres knows that you know he, he can't sleep on this guy. You know whether he's the favorite to win or not. Right, for sure. Absolutely. Torres really hasn't done much yet. He's kind of struggling getting past the the, the reaching jab. You gotta just take it to him. Yeah. 
not a lot of got it. Not not a lot of got to just keep setting up and throwing shots. Because at the end of the day, oh, uh, there right we hand. go. Yeah, you were. You Coach were says it Coach. and it happens. <laughs> That's right. Well, the thing that Munoz is doing is he's, he's kind of really like hand fighting with right. Torres. Right. Right. Occupying Torres's lead hand. Um, and sometimes it just stifles fighters. They, they get frustrated. They're used to working behind their jab. Torres ties up. Oh. He's working the head and the body. Gets called for a low blow. Torres looks like he's starting to have some fun, though. Let's him crack a smile. Munoz's body is really soft. Yes, <laughs> like I like we said that right there. If you if, if, if we paid attention to the exchange right here to the body shot, two of them two of them from uh, two of them from Torres had Munoz covering. Yeah, well, you know, and we as we mentioned, he he had to you know wear all his his clothes to get on the scale and make weight. I mean, it's clear Munoz is not a true heavyweight. Right. Yeah. You know, may, maybe cruiserweight or something, but you know he looks like an a, a oversized cruiserweight if anything. Trust me. Look. And Juan Torres, I know for a fact, is a true heavyweight. You know, oh, yeah. He fought Come MMA on. for a real long time. He's fought some real big heavyweight fighters. Also, decent box, boxing record. You know, he's 8-5, and five, has a couple of titles under his belt. I think they're fighting for a title right now, actually. Yes, ABO title. ABO titles on the line. Heavyweight ABO title on the line here. Ooh, that uppercut. Munoz is so, not Munoz working his way back. out of that corner no, just he's yet. back with that right hand. No, I think, I think Munoz, this is probably where he's comfortable. You know, this is probably where he That's operates in most, fight, most of his fights. Ten-second marker right there for round one. Torres versus Munoz right now. Torres got to do is shoot one of those shots straight down the pipe. Yeah, not a very busy round from either fighter, but particularly Torres seemed to be just trying to find his range there. Shoot the shot straight down the pipe on this guy. When this guy's been in the he might, it, it, it might go early because he's really on the side. But he got hard though. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, he's making a fight of it. He's he's the one throwing on the inside. And, uh, you know, he, he's, I, he was definitely the more active fighter that round. Would you say, would you, is there a clear winner in that round to you? Uh, Coach Fountain, what are your thoughts? I don't think there's a clear winner in that fight in, in that particular round at all. Actually, if I'm a judge and I'm judging that round, that's a hard one. I call it yeah. a draw. That's a hard one. Yeah. I, I might have Still maybe good, given it to Munoz just because he was a little bit more active and right. actually trying to work, um, whereas Torres was really just setting up the whole time, never really, really landed anything. No, you're, you're, that makes sense. Yeah. It so. makes a lot of sense. Um, and, if, if, and if he can keep that up, that's what I was saying earlier. If he can keep it up and, 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 and Torres doesn't press the press the action and keep, mm -hmm. it, keep it coming and keep and, and force the fight, he can actually end up pulling up and up pulling off an upset. On right. The well, the one thing I would have liked to have seen from Torres was just, you know, setting up his shots a little bit more. It really just looked like he was looking for that perfect shot. And he never really. What's going on here? It looks like the referee called a timeout to to clear the water out of the corner of Torres. Yes. Sometimes that can be a, a strategic thing by coaches, but I, I don't think it was in this particular case. Might have just been sloppy corner work. <laughs> <laughs> we need more time. Get the floor wet. Oh. oh. All right. A down well, fighter right there. Yeah, the but that, that looked more like a takedown to me than... <laughs> than an actual knockdown. Well, Bart did want an MMA fight. He did expect <laughs> one, so. Right, right, right. Don't be surprised if we see a double leg here. Right. Munoz just being real dirty Ooh, in the end. Ooh, exactly. nice short uppercut. Yeah, nice one. He, he's doing a lot of dirty boxing here, which, you know, as you know, in, in boxing is really kind of, a, you know, discretionary towards the referees. Some referees allow a lot of it. Some referees don't allow any of it. You know, Colin, that's a great point. You know, I mean, judges are different. The refs are going to be different. What they're going to let go on and what they're going to stop right off the bat. Oh. Absolutely. Torres putting his weight on Munoz just, this round. If he, just holds, if he just holds his range, the fight will be over yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I actually think, uh, yeah, if Torres would just you know, stay at range a little bit more and, right. and work his straight, like you said, his straight shots. But he just keeps loading up for the big, big one. The other thing is like, there's almost no jab to be spoken of. Yeah. 
really from either fighter, but, but particularly Torres seems to have almost no jab. M Munoz is at least sticking it out there. He's not really sticking it, but just you know, putting it out there. Putting it out like there. Fighter. Yeah. Just stay off me. Yeah, I'm just occupying look, Torres' look, look, lead look, hand. Yeah. Come, ooh, nice body shot. That was shot a nice there. body shot by Torres on the inside. All right, all right, coach, are you are you a little surprised to see this this much dirty boxing? Not for heavyweight. No. Okay. Oh, oh big body shot. Torres putting it on right now. On the kidney side. You might have a little blood in the urine afterwards. You never know. <laughs> a little, just a little. Don't don't freak out too much. This is definitely a much better round for Torres. He's he's leaning on Munoz, making him carry his weight. He's doing a he's being a little bit more effective on the dirty boxing on the inside. Just smiling directly into the camera. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> Torres is starting to have some another, fun. Another big right hand to the kidney. Munoz came in really loose and happy, dancing, and now we're seeing Torres loosen up, smiling a little bit, again, playing to the camera. A little bit of head movement there from Torres. That body shot. Yeah. Body shot. Hey, keep Woo. <laughs> There's that jab I was talking about. Oh, Ooh. another big right hand to the body. Man. Oh, and you nice can see Munoz, breath. it's starting to that? affect you Munoz, yeah. Tie up for these last 10 seconds, get, get some extra room to breathe. Oh, yeah, Munoz is just backing straight up. Oh, good little check, check right hook there as he was backing oh, up. Yeah. Coach Fountain, let me ask you, what does Munoz need to be doing? If you're his coach right now in the corner, what are you saying to him? I'm, I'm telling him to stop backing up. Stop backing up. Stop backing up. Stop moving backwards. Everything, we going, everything we're going to do is going to be on the inside. Right. Every punch we're going to make, every move we're going to make is going to be right here on the inside. He has to fight. Torres has to fight longer, right? And he has to fight more on the inside. So if he's not fighting longer, he has to fight more when he's on the inside. Right. So we're going to stay here. We're not going to back up. We're not going to make the fight easy for him. What does Munoz need to do to turn this around? Start punching. Start punching. On the inside. Start punching on the inside. Stop, stop looking for this. I don't know what he's trying to do, but just start punching on the inside if he's gonna, if, if he wants to make it a fight. Right. Well, we're going to go into round three right now. Round three of four. We do have an, uh, an MMA bout coming up, uh, three five-minute rounds, Craig Grove and Wesley Cole, who are on deck. Let's get back to this fight. You know, for Munoz, I'd, I'd like to see that right hand. I'd like to see him set it up off the lead because he's, he's you know, at least sticking that jab out there. If he, if he maybe like stepped in behind the jab, threw a hook, and then threw that right hand. Oh, another straight right to the body. See, and, and he is landing that right hand. That's what and, I'm and saying. Look, he, look, look what he can do on the inside if he stays there. Yeah. See it. But but, but, See, but it, to your point, turn Torres's back to the ropes. Back him up. Don't back yourself up to right. the ropes. Yeah, Torres is almost just falling on him. He's not even like trying to clinch. He's using the weight. He's using the weight. Yeah, He's absolutely. Him. Absolutely. I mean, there was what at the weigh-ins? What a 25-pound difference? 20-pound difference? It's got to be at least. All I know is Munoz had the well, <laughs> all his clothes. <laughs> 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 he was wearing what I was wearing: his full suit, tie, shoes, full a couple suit. chains. <laughs> he came in jovial too. Just yeah. like he did when he came yeah. He came well, good for him. You know, I mean. He, He's Look, right there, right oh, there. Definitely. Oh, definitely. Right oh, there. there we go. Another good there right we go. Hand. See that inside? Yeah. That's Actually, right, right, right in front of us right now. Oh, shit. Right there. Oh, oh, shit. Torres just making him carry that way. Nice uppercut yeah, there. Short, short little uppercut on the inside. Munoz, Munoz trying to tie up. He came back with one of his own. Tries to return it. <laughs> <laughs> Munoz looking a little tired there, yeah, carrying was, a lot of yeah. weight as we mentioned. Definitely yes. looking super fatigued, starting to drop his mouthpiece out of his mouth a yeah. little bit. Uh, breathing and, breathing and, heavy. And, and, and Torres can capitalize on this. Look at him. I like how Torres yeah. is pacing himself, though. You know what I mean? He's really, you know, he's, he's not really just pouring it on. Well, there, there's that, that was that Yeah, there you right. go. Knock him out. Knock him out. You hear the crowd? <laughs> Crowd's definitely getting into it. <laughs> Ooh. Nice oh, body shots by Munoz. Oh, and good combination. Torres slipping around, 
making faces, Please. acting like it didn't hurt. Kind of had that Terminator vibe, just taking those, eating them up. Yeah. Oh, oh, good body, nice shot. body shot. Don't count yep. Munoz out just yet. Same thing, just kind of stuck that jab out there, didn't really even look to land it, just kind of let it find his range for him. And then when Torres ran into that he jab, yeah. But Torres just outworking him size-wise, you know, just really using that weight, yeah. leaning on him. And it looks like it's just another day at the office for Torres. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, we got a separation here. I like, I like to see the ref do that. I, I like to see the ref do that a lot more. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I to me this, this kind of looks like a bare knuckle boxing match right. with gloves on. To be honest, with all the dirty boxing. Yeah. He just laying on. Him. Yeah. Punching, laying on him, punching, laying on him, punching. Definitely not your most technical boxing bout. I want to give a big shout out to Reed Shelger for putting this again together again. I mean, we're really excited to be a part of PCS2. Again, we're at the UGHS Event Center here in beautiful Houston, Texas. I'm excited to see what comes up. I mean, hopefully there's going to be a PCS3. I know Colin's been putting together some awesome fights thus far. And uh, we're having a great time. Guys, if you're on clearlifemedia.com right now watching this live stream, share the link with your friends. Tell your friends about it. Clear Life Media doing all facets of sports, not just combat sports, boxing, MMA. I mean, they're doing football, even giving a lot of love to the local high schools. Uh, we're really happy to have Clear Life Media uh, really helping out with these broadcasts and these streams. Thanks to Guardi Garcia, of course, Kirk, Tom, uh, Kirk, you know, you're the man out there. I know you're listening on the other side. Now we're gonna uh, wrap this up right now, fourth and final round. Come on, Juan. come on, baby. I think Torres is probably Pretty clearly ahead, probably two to one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Although Munoz made that made, made that last round. Of, uh, yeah, I mean, I think he's been doing a good job, especially all things. Oh, oh, big right hand right off the bat. Oh. Another big right hand. He knows it's the last round. I yeah. mean, he's coming out. His corner told him. Is it? Oh, big right hand by Torres. Stun Munoz. Munoz staying in there though. Still trying to make a fight out of it. Right there. Man. This punch. Yeah. I, instead of falling forward into this clinch, he, he could really just shoot that right hand and yeah. stay out of range. Yeah. Oh. I, I agree. I think Torres is making this fight a little harder on himself than he needs to. He, he could just be a little bit more technical on the outside. But maybe this is Torres' game, you know? Maybe this is just what he does. He likes to lean on guys, wear their body out. Ooh, oh, good short check hook. Oh, come on. Coming down to the last couple of minutes of this bout, Torres seems to be in the lead right now. Right Munoz. there, right there, right there. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, they're just that little like double jab right hand. Uh, excuse me, left hand. Uh, double, double jab left keep hand. There, right there. Right yeah, there. big right. left hook, right. big right hook. Sorry, I keep forgetting Torres' southpaw. Back to your range. Back to your range. Right there. Yeah, just stay right there. Just you know, switches back to orthodox. Lands the jab and then again clinches it up. And, and if Munoz has had any success, it's been almost entirely on the inside. Right. So you're right. I, I don't understand why Torres wants to stay there. I guess it doesn't matter. You know, you're that much heavier than your opponent. Right. You can just lean on him. But from a boxing perspective, you know, oh, another, another big straight left. If, if he stops coming forward, he'll land that shot there. Right, exactly. If he stops coming forward. And, and if he if he just stuck with that game plan, I think he probably could have finished Munoz, you know, earlier in this fight. And look, you know, you're fighting a guy that's one in five. You're either defending or fighting for a belt. Try to finish this guy. You know, you outweigh him by yeah, make it look good. You know, local card, television, make it look good. Exactly, exactly. So a little frustrating, but. Uh, Nice straight left to the body. Right. Definitely, Mu Munoz is, is really just trying to survive at this point. Right. Sure. Coming down to the last few uh, few seconds of this bout, I think it's clear to see that uh, Mr. Torres is going to take this W. Yeah. yeah. Munoz is loading up for one last big shot. You can tell he He's just trying wants to get that to... buzzer beater in. Yeah. 
Torres just grinds him down. We're going to take it to the judges' scorecard, but I think it's pretty clear uh, who got that. Again, nice sportsmanship from both competitors. Munoz talking into the camera. Not sure what he's saying. Let's go here from the judges. You know, you look at this fight on paper, and, and Torres was clearly the favorite. Eight and five versus, you know, one and five. I think Munoz made much more of a fight out of that than I expected it to be. Yes, he did. He shouldn't be. He, 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 I don't think he should have been there for all No, yeah, I agree. I think Torres should have gotten him out of there in two or three. A separation. Yeah. A separation. I'm better than you. Yeah, absolutely. And look, if, if Munoz is one and five in, in uh, boxing, and he doesn't have any other combat sport experience, then, you know, Torres has a huge experience advantage over him as well. So yeah. it's it's a size, reach, you know, weight, experience. All the advantage is in Torres' corner. You, you hope to see a finish from a guy like that, in a bout like that. But we'll, we'll see what the judges say, you know. I'd be, I'd be blown away if they had Munoz winning that fight, though. I, I think they gave him a round. You think what? 39-37, they gave him a round. Yeah, I think, I think that's exactly what I would have scored it. So our next fight up is uh, Craig Grove versus Chip Cole. Uh, this is another fight that I'm, I'm very closely associated with. Yes. And we'll talk about it in just a second, right after we get this decision. We can let him leave one on, I think. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, fight fans. After four rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. All three judges at ringside, Michelle Morales, Kelly Isaac, and Randy Russell, score them out 40. 36 for your winner by unanimous decision, Juan Torres. And the best dancer? <laughs> Honorable mention to Rafael Munoz for his entrance. We appreciate him participating in this bout. I'm with your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Juan Torres. Juan. There was a big difference how you came out as opposed to how Rafael came out. You came out really serious, very calm. Tell me, what was going through your head as you made the walk down? What'd you say? <laughs> you were very serious when you came to the ring compared to your opponent who was dancing and everything. I wanted to know what was going through your head as you were walking down to the ring. Man, I just come and take care of business. That's it, I'm just trying to improve my record so you know, some bigger promotions can check me out. Now, you've been around for a while, you've done MMA, you're doing boxing. What's your love right now? Do you want to continue with the boxing? What's in your head? I love boxing, but bare knuckle boxing is a shit. And then I saw Mr. Garcia over there, man. I'm ready to get back in the cage, too, shit. <laughs> Promoters, be aware, Mr. Torres is ready for more fights. What would you like to say to your fans out there? Hey, I appreciate y'all and I love y'all, man. I know sometimes you guys buy tickets and, and we don't get to, you know, fight, because. Dudes drop out and shit, so, oh, yeah. So I appreciate my fans, that's the biggest thing, man. Without y'all, I, I ain't got shit. Put your hands together for your winner, Juan Torres.